This is Amanda, and welcome back to the New Horizons channel. Today we're going to talk about how to take elements from different patterns that you love and combine them together or mash the patterns to create a new, fun, unique, custom fit garment. We also have a partner blog down below, so don't forget to check that out. It's linked in the description. New Horizons patterns come with many different options or views and an awesome thing about sewing for yourself is that you can incorporate ones you like even from different patterns to create a new garment that is entirely yours. To begin with, you will want to have the two patterns that you're going to mash. You can mash more than two patterns, but we'll just start with two for right now. You'll want to have the pattern pieces for the two different patterns that you want to mash printed out in your size and graded so that they already fit you correctly. And then what we're going to do essentially is lay one on top of the other and either cut or trace just the parts we need from each one and then follow the directions to sew those different parts from each one to end up with a brand new garment. If this is helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Remember to ring that red bell. If that bell is red, you will get all of our new videos so you won't miss any tips or tricks or any new information. When you lay your pattern pieces on top of each other, it's important to align them at a part on your body that will be the same in each pattern. For tops, I like to use the underarm seam. For pants or bottoms or shorts, I like to use the crotch curve. And for skirts, you're gonna wanna measure and find out where the skirt starts to flare out away from your body, then begin the skirt there. For many skirts, this is the natural waist. New Horizons uses a side waist of eight inches, but you'll wanna measure yours and make sure that you can lengthen or shorten as needed. Some skirts start to flare out on your high hip or your hip instead of your natural waist. So you just want to make sure you know where that point is so you can start the skirt at the right point. Take care to ensure that the grain lines remain parallel when you're cutting the new pattern. For many patterns, the bodices are cut on the fold, but the sleeves are not. So if you're mashing sleeves together, you'll want to make sure that those grain lines remain parallel. They don't have to be on top of each other, but they need to be parallel so that your fabric isn't twisted when you're sewing your sleeve. There's a quick and easy way of cutting a pattern, and there's a more methodical and thorough way of cutting one. And that is to form a brand new pattern piece on paper before you cut with your fabric. I'm going to show you both ways. I usually do the quick and easy way because the less steps in making a new outfit, the better. Um, for me, but if you want to have more control over it and a more repeatable pattern piece, then you can make your own new pattern piece using the two that you have already. For a quick and easy mesh, lay both of your original pattern pieces out on your fabric and align them using the points that we discussed above. Then cut the fabric according to the pattern piece corresponding to the element that you want from each pattern and cutting a smooth transition line where the patterns meet. Make sure you cut the front and back with the transition line in the same place so that when you're sewing the front and back together, you have a smooth curve from one pattern to the next. Then sew according to the directions for each pattern. For any special elements for each pattern, follow the directions in that pattern and you'll have a new garment. For a more methodical and repeatable mesh, you can create your own new pattern piece. You can use freezer paper, Swedish tracing paper, other large paper, you can tape together printer paper, you can even use wrapping paper, and trace your two original pattern pieces onto it using different colors for each, each pattern piece. Align the original pattern pieces at a common point, the same as above, and now use a third color to create your new pattern piece by tracing the elements that you want from each of your original pattern pieces. At the point where the patterns meet, you want to use a very gentle and smooth curve to transition from one piece to the other. You'll want a smooth line so that when you're sewing the garment, there will be a smooth curve and no edges or bumps will stick out in your seam. Remember to make a new pattern piece for the front and back of your mashed garment if you're changing the bodice. And if you are not changing the sleeve piece, make sure that the arm side for the pattern piece that has the sleeve piece does not change and you don't change the arm side at all unless you are also modifying the sleeve piece. If you are mashing pant pants or shorts, use the waistline for the topmost original pattern piece. And then you can cut your fabric using your new pattern piece and sew according to the directions for each pattern. There are nearly an infinite number of new patterns that you can make by mashing together elements from patterns that you love. Here are some ideas to get you started. The Marbella top with the Bourbon Street skirt, the Cascade tee with the Pierside pencil skirt, the Dublin Dolman with the Knoxville Knot, the Maui Tank Top with the Bayside Romper Shorts, 
or the Zenith hoodie with the Deer Creek skirt. Have you mashed patterns before? Do you have any other recommendations for patterns that you love that you've mashed together? If so, please let us know in the comments below. I'd love to see what you've mashed or if you have any ideas to share with the rest of us. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.